Hello viewers, today we're going to be repairing this Sony boombox speaker. I forget the model of the box itself, I'll put that in the description. But this speaker has gone bad, it's got a very distorted sound to it. I'm going to insert a clip now of that speaker playing music. So as you can hear, there is a major issue with that speaker. So I went around and got this off Amazon. And I believe this will be a good replacement. I don't think it's going to be like a 100% fit. It's going to be like a 98% fit um, as far as the screw holes goes. But I think it will be good enough to uh, to work. I couldn't find an exact replacement. This is a 4 ohm, this is a 4 ohm, this is 8 watts, this I think is 12 watts. So it could handle a little more power. Uh, but you have to figure after 30 years, you know, this was made in the 90s, early 90s, this, whatever, wherever this was sourced from, is, is definitely not going to be manufactured anymore. So the fact that I got something that's close enough, um, I'm content with that. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is, well actually there's not much to do this, we're just going to unsolder it, or excuse me, desolder it, don't blow up the comments box. We're going to desolder it, um, i got to get that to fit in there hopefully. Um, this isn't uh, actually rubber, this is just plastic, whereas this one is... I don't know if it's dried rubber or if this was plastic as well. I don't know. Anyways, maybe we won't bother with that. Now, this is going to be very difficult to desolder because um, it's uh, easy to see on this one. It's the terminals are, uh, can't be done individually. So, this is going to be uh, kind of interesting. Well, let's get started. Okay, it's connected now. I had to connect it a little bit differently than it was initially. I connected it on the back instead of putting the terminals through the board because the terminals on this particular speaker are wider than on the other one, so they wouldn't fit through. But I think this should work perfectly fine. So I'm going to go get the other half of the boombox, or I guess the other two thirds, rather, and we'll give this a test. Appears to be working. Sounds pretty clear. So we'll go ahead and reassemble everything and then we'll give it a final test and we'll compare it to the other speaker and see if there's any noticeable difference in uh, performance. All right, so I got it in there. Admittedly, this is not a very good fit, 
and I had to cut several parts of the uh, rim of the speaker to get it to fit in there. I had to drill some new holes for the screws. Some really cringy stuff had to take place to get that to fit in there. But it's in there, it's secure, and it sounds pretty good. So it'll work. And from the outside, you can't tell the difference, but from the inside, it's pretty cringy, but it'll work. Okay, now we're going to do some tests. You can see the one on the right is the one with the new speaker. It is a little bit different color, but oh well. So this is the original speaker with both original speakers in it. I'll go ahead and turn this on. Okay, now we'll do the other speaker. Yeah, it sounds to me, perhaps this is just a placebo effect, but it sounds to me like this new speaker sounds a lot better on the low end, which I find kind of odd because the majority of the low end should be coming from this speaker, which it wasn't changed out. Um, but I have to say this, it definitely sounds good. Um, now what we'll do is we'll plug the two speakers in and we'll listen to them together and see if there's any noticeable difference in... Uh, in volume. I don't think there should be, but stranger things have happened. Alright, so I got both of them going together and it's definitely no placebo. This one definitely has better uh, audio, better bass to it, which I find very bizarre. Um, I guess that must be a really good speaker. Well, either way, it uh, it sounds pretty good. The volume is, I mean, within any reasonable margin of error, exactly the same. And uh, it sounds great. So this has been repaired successfully and is ready to be used. Um, will I replace that speaker at some point? Perhaps. Um, not anytime soon, though. I, if it's working, I'm not going to mess with it. Only because this is not an exact fit. If this was a screw it out, screw it back in and it fits perfectly I would I would replace it but that was quite the hassle to get that put in there so I don't know probably just leave it the way it is but uh, that's it thank you for watching goodbye